Good day everybody and welcome at E36 at E46 vlog 81. They are back yesterday. I got the white steelies back. I have to go to work now and have to do some other stuff. And then tonight I'm going to show you to them and go inside there. So talk to you later. And yet it's night over here and you can see the widen up steelies there at the back. Um, I'm going to put them here um, because there is some primer on it, but I don't want the fly rust. That you see in the holes over there that become more because um, I have to sandblast them and then make them magnetic if I want to put a powder coating on them and I don't want any more rust on them because of that thing over there it attracts a water so it attracts the water out of um, the area and also I've got a heater over here so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put um, the front steely and the white steely um, at the rear um, on the bench and then I'm going to take out some measurements and um, check if uh, the welder has done a nice job or not. So I put them on the bench, I put two packs of smokes over here. It is really even more than these two packets, I feel some space in between. So it looks big but it's even bigger in real life so you can visualize how big the dish is. It's all the way from under here until here and with the trap it's like really this big. You get the anabolic pad look with a smaller dish at the front. So um, in first instance the welder only welded it from the outside and that results in a gap over here and with powder coating like I said before you cannot fill up the gaps. So I double welded it or I let it done and um, yeah, he made it straight, so um, I have the option to powder coat it. Um, you have to put it in the oven and if you put filler in it or when you put uh, thinner in it, it gets liquid again because of the high temperature. So now I have the option to do a powder coating for those and that one and that one or to paint them. So the gaps are filled up. The thing is, um, you cannot really see it, but the second weld is like under there and I can see that he didn't weld that so if you want to do that you have to do that straight away so that's yeah the downside but anyway the parts that you can see from the outside but also from the inside of the rim um, are double welded that's better to make it airtight and it looks better when it's on the bridge and when you look it from uh, the outside so that's uh, yeah that's a good thing um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to twist them, uh, take some measurements. Uh, this is 17 inch rim, that's uh, the least that you need for 330i big brakes. Um, the AT worth is 20 at the front and it's 0 at the rear. What they did at Rieger is they have it a little bit more to the inside and they put a spacer in it to push it more to the outside so then you go from AT number 10 push it up with a 10 millimeter spacer to AT number uh, 0 um, if you do that you can have a little bit a bigger dish but I want to use the original uh, bolts um, I hope it's going to fit here at the inside because if they put a spacer in it yeah then you have more space there so these are um, 0 AT at the rear and 20 AT at the front uh, with the original bolts. You need other bolts than uh, aluminium rims because uh, those are steel rims. You need other, like uh, you have conical and some other name, I don't know it. You need them original and you can use the original size at the front and also at the rear. And that was something that I want. I don't want to use any spacers and I want to use uh, regular bolts. And um, the thing is, uh, the welder said that his friend has a company. Um, if you powder coat it, you get a different kind of thickness over here and it's uh, way worse to center it. Also, when you want to powder coat it and a piece comes off, it is stronger, but if a piece comes off, when you put on your tires uh, or hit a rock or whatever, or a stoop, then you have to get all the stuff uh, off again and they do that with um, yeah with chemicals and that makes the iron weaker or you have to sandblast it all over again that is an option um, anyway 
both options are yeah pretty yeah it costs a lot of time to get everything off again so a, a better thing is to to paint it it's a little bit weaker but if you have a damage on it you can respray it so that's yeah the downside and the plus side from painting or coating it and for now i'm going to twist them on the side and i'm going to take some measurements so like i said 17 inch 8 a number 20 8 a number 0 and this should be 11 y and 9 y so i'm going to take the measurement it's supposed to be from here until there that's supposed to be 11 y and that's um, uh, 2.5 2 uh, if you want to know it in centimeters so i'm going to take a measurement out of it and then uh, I'm going to check if that's about um, 11 y. This is, I believe, 8.5 centimeters, uh, one centimeter wider. So I made it wider at the outside, but also at the inside. Here as well, it was only uh, 0 0.5 here. And this one I can't remember. Just look at part one or two and you can check out the measurements. So this was like really small, but I wanted to get the right stretch of the tire if I didn't make this. 0.5 centimeters uh, wider then the stretch here is going to be less like this but more like this and it could hit my fender so that's the reason why i did this a lot of extra work and some extra money but these are the original rigor sizes As you can clearly see is the difference about the 9 yay and the 11 yay that one is 9 10 that's 2 yay bigger so that's pretty much wider you can see here really good that he did these sides from the inside again because it's colored and this one so the one sitting there in the lip that he didn't do it from the inside because this thing is over there um, this one he did as well, so that is the inside that you don't see, but when it's on the bridge you won't see anything over here, he put some filler on it. Um, the thing is, you can sandblast it and powder coat it, it makes it a little bit rougher, that would be fine to powder coat it. If you want to paint it um, like this, you probably need going to need some filler and you need a special filler. But anyway, I'm going to check uh, check it out. It's way easier to powder coat it than to paint it because everything has to be straight. But anyway, that's not what I'm going to do now. I'm going to check out how big it is. So like I said, you have to take the measurements from there all the way to here. So it's, let's check it out. 28 and the 9 yays are what's that like yeah 22 and a half from there so yeah let's say 22 and a half and the 11 yay it's 28 28 and a half I'm going to check out how much centimeters it's supposed to be so it's 11 and then Care, they call it in Dutch care, I don't know how you call it in English, 2.5, and then you can check out the measurements. So, another look the inside, like I said, original offset in sense of the length of the bolts, they look really nice, and then the other side, they're like the most important. You really see the big dish over there. Okay, for the record, what they do is they uh, make this steel by cutting it when it's uh, 30 uh, millimeters or bigger, or else they cut it with water, like a water special machine. Um, they bend it over, they weld it with, with points and then they rub it all over uh, yeah, the whole rim 
and they always have to cross it over here so this is like normal uh, you can do this with a machine as well but the guy did a yeah, pretty good hand job I see a lot of welders do it way less good than this one and this also looks pretty good he said it's uh, airtight so that's how he has done it um, he left it not grind it when you, when you grind it you can make some more space he did it pretty small so I don't think it's going to be really difficult to balance it when I want to put uh, the rims on there um, I have no idea put it in the comments if you can put the iron weights um, over here so you don't have to put them over there um, it's no problem to put them in there I don't care but I don't want them on my dish and what they also do is they put a clamp with a weight on it and they do it on the outside not really nice but better than to put it in the dish so guys uh, that was it for now um, I'm going to store them over there they're uh, going to attract any water the temperature is right and later when uh, I decided if I'm going to powder coat them or spray them wet I'm going to put them in the garage and then later of course on the E36 so um, if you want to know the exact sizes how much bigger they were because they were 7.5 yay um, you can look at part, part 1 and part 2 of uh, the white steelies and um, yeah anyway it doesn't matter because they're 9 yay and 11 yay now so that's really big so go to do some uh, late night training and then uh, we come back to you guys when I'm going to decide going to powder coat them or spray them with regular paint and why I'm going to do that. So that was it for now. Thumbs up if you liked the video and also subscribe for more updates about the white steelies and a lot more. So uh, talk to you later guys. Peace.